This wasn't written yeah. with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not a Okay, so I wanted to touch on a couple things as far as like the Steam Deck that I did get wrong in my last video. Uh, I did state that uh, pre-orders for those of us who are in Q2. Hey, 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 hey. Try to talk. Those of us that are in Q2, I said that um, it was April 11th is when we could, when it technically it's the first Monday of every week. So all Q1 orders have been uh, taken care of. So going into this uh, coming week, uh, which will be uh, April 4th, is when we can start ordering. So I emails, so if you're in Q2, and I'm not sure, you know, Q2 is going to run from April all the way to June, so I'm not sure when I'm slotted in. I know there's so many different things to, to guesstimate when you might be getting it. You know, the email, I'm hoping I'm in the first batch. I do have a 512 gig model, but we, I don't know. I don't know. I'm also noticing that Steam is giving out to various content creators. Um, hey, Steam, I'd like to be part of that. <laughs> or Valve, I'd like to be part of that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's... Uh, so I just wanted to correct that information. So starting April 4th, you can get... You know, you should be getting your email so you can go ahead and uh, make your purchase for thing. I think it's a 24 to 48 hour window and then you can go from there. So if you are part of Q2, then um, why don't you guys let me know down in the comment section below and when do you think you might get um, your email? Do you think you might be in the first batch or do you think you might be in more of the, the, the May or June batch? I'm hoping a lot of us can just go straight in the first batch because it seems like they, they, they did take care of a lot of folks uh, more quickly than um, they expected with Q1. So I'm hoping Q2 goes a lot smoother. And I'm also hoping not only does it go smoother and quicker, but also people get bumped up from Q3 because Q3, that, man, that's a bit of a, that's a crazy wait right there. But, you know, I, I'm glad I was able to get in and get my, which is funny because as soon as the pre-orders went up, is when I was trying to pre-order it and it kept crashing on me and I gave up and I didn't realize that it actually went through because it kept saying it wasn't going through. But in reality, it did go through. <laughs> Uh, so the mines went through at 10.41 p.m., uh, as far as I know. So uh, I don't know if, you know, with the guesstimations and whatnot, if that puts me, at, you know, what batch that puts me in. But it is what it is. I just know I'm going to get my Steam Deck one way or another, and I'm excited for that. I, I was not dallying on that like I was on the analog pocket, which I'm kind of beating myself up because you can't get the analog pocket now unless you pre-order and wait till like 2023 or uh, you, <laughs> if you are able to get in, uh, then you could um, probably... Oh, oh, no, no, I don't think you can get in. You, you could buy it off of eBay and people are... Uh, selling at a markup of like two to three hundred dollars extra so i'm like you know what i i can wait i'm not in a rush for that because you know like i said in the last video emulation is something i'm definitely going to do with my steam deck on top of playing a lot of the games a lot of the games i'm going to be getting you guys know i get a lot of review copies of games so uh it's going to be good for me to uh be able to finally you know have something because the, with the the way I had things set up, and this is why I'm looking forward to having the Steam Deck uh, and the Steam Dock, is that my, my my main PC, the way I play Steam games is I run my gaming laptop here into my gaming PC. I know you got a lot to say. I run into my, my gaming PC. Hey, 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 hey. Let me finish. And... Uh, I, uh, by doing that, I'm able to, to stream or capture PC gaming footage. Now, my PC is powerful enough for me to do it all on one platform, but I just 
prefer to do a dual PC setup. Now with the Steam Deck, what I'm able to do with that is with the dock or even with the third party dock that works, I can go over and, you know, I can use this setup here, which I know it's a little messy, but I've been doing a lot of unboxing. I got a lot of products I'm working on reviews for. Um, I can have it set up here and capture footage at my, my gaming laptop. And then I can set it up at my desk if I need to go in there and to stream or capture footage there. And so that's one of the things, like a lot of people are like, oh, why do you need it? Because you have a gaming laptop and whatnot, gaming PC. And it's just, it just makes content creating a lot easier for me to do. And if you're a content creator or you're someone who's looking to become a content creator, a little insider information is it's a lot more easier to get review copies of games that are PC codes than it is to get consoles codes. Um, and second to that, if you can't, you know, if you want a console code, it's easier to get a Xbox code, you know, for Xbox Series X, S, or Xbox One than it is to get uh, for PlayStation or Switch. Usually if you have a portfolio of work or a body of work, and you know the people distributing the codes, the PR people doing that, you typically have a better chance of um, getting PlayStation or Switch. So that's generally that. But right, you know, for the last several years, I, I've had no issues. My portfolio of work has spoken for itself. So that's just a little inside information if you guys are curious about that. But yeah, Steam Deck, that's going to be great for me for content creating, for gaming, uh, especially with me having her. I, I like playing uh, games on my PC, but it's not often I can just sit, you know, and <laughs> sit and, 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 and be able to play my, my gaming desktop or my laptop with my, my setup just because I've got her and then potentially another one on the way. On top of my other two dollars, so it's like uh, t time, you know, for me to be able to play portably is just going to be where it's at. Other than you know, capturing footage and stuff. You took your hair band out. I got to redo her hair. But anyways, I uh, just want to talk about that. I think that's cool. We're so close to Q one. And uh, we're going to be doing daily videos about the Steam Deck. So going forward, expect that. Might have ones with her. Might have ones without her. Um, just depend on the time of day when I, I'm able to do uh, the videos. But yeah, let's get the conversation going. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, share it, sub to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support the content, head on over to patreon.com slash Mikhail Casanova, become a patron today. And also check out the channel memberships here on YouTube. Also, check out some of my merch on Teespring and TeePublic. We got some, some pretty dope merch. But uh, outside of that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. She's ready to go do her morning stuff, and I got to get up out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have an aloha, blessed rest of your day. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. If you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well as coffee which I would love to be drinking some coffee right now which I am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on Teespring and Public, so make sure you go check that out and all that being said I just hope to see you in the next video that I put out so hey see you around